What's the downside? What happens is sometimes these cells, when we but people got excited and started to try to redirect these cells against other, other types of tumors. And what happens is the cell's specificity, the, the, the engineered white cell's specificity for cancer sometimes is lost a bit, and it starts attacking normal tissue. So you can get what's called off-target effect, off effects. Probably the most substantial impediment to the deployment of this technology is going to be cost. Because manufacturing your own personalized, genetically engineered cells that are culture expanded in a pharmaceutical grade facility and then harvested to give, be given to you, it's going to cost money. And right now it's not large scale, but you know, cost of manufacturing could be anywhere between fifty to a hundred thousand dollars per person. That's manufacturing. You haven't added everything else that goes around that. So for eventual large-scale deployment, what will need to happen is that there's going to need to be improvements in the engineering and manufacturing to make it accessible to everybody out there in a way that's uh, financially feasible. But like all things, cost will improve over time. So we're, we're very optimistic that we'll be able to deploy these out.